Yeah, joining us this morning is the founder of Palm Beach Fit Body Boot Camp, Jody Run. Jody, good morning. Thank you for good joining morning. us. All right, so one of your mottos is ditch the scale. And I love this because I never weigh myself. But why do you say that? Okay, well, we say ditch the scale because the scale weighs a lot more than just fat. Right, the scale is going to weigh your muscle, it's going to weigh your water, your glycogen, and even some of the food that you haven't processed yet. And so, and those go up and down a lot more than fat. So what we focus on is just weighing yourself just to put those numbers into a body fat calculation device. And what that will tell us is what your body fat percent is and what your lean muscle is. And those are way better indicators of your health than a weight on a scale. Is that something that you can do at home, or is that something you really need a lot of help with? Well, if you don't have this device, you can also use your mirror. You can look in the mirror. You can see how your clothes fit you. Mm -hmm. You can also uh, tape a tape measure and measure your body. Those are way better ways to measure your health and progress than a scale. Well, why do you think we've become so reliant upon the scale to tell us if we're fat or not? Because like you said, yes. you can look in the mirror and see if you have a trouble spot or exactly. not. Exactly. You know, it's because of us, a society. You know, from birth, day one, when you're born, the doctor tells you what your appropriate weight should be. And every time you go back to that doctor's office, you're reinforced with that weight that you're supposed to be. And you have that number fixed in your head. He says, according to your, your height, your gender, and um, your age, this is your weight. And we get fixated on that. And it should have never been weight. It should have been your body fat percent. Right? Weight is kind of arbitrary. You know, it's the body fat percentage that we want to get down. That's what causes the problems. You know, there's so many fitness trends out there right now, so many new fads and, and different exercise programs popping up. Tell, me, tell us about your program and what exactly you do and what it focuses on. Right, so we focus on three things. We focus on the nutrition, we also focus on sleep, and we focus on the workouts that you do. So nutrition, we follow whole real foods, and we eliminate processed grain-based foods, sugars, and man made fats. And how, what percentage of diet is important in weight loss? It's, I mean, I, I hate to say a percentage, it's a, major, a, a majority. A majority, yes. Yeah. And sleep is also very, very important. Majority of us know that sleep is important, but we don't recognize how important it is for fat loss. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to get your sleep. Um, I'm studying this right now for a post I'm writing, and the studies show that you know clients who don't get at least eight hours of sleep, anything less, they're mobilizing their muscle instead of fat for their workouts, for their daily activities. And we don't want to get rid of this muscle. This muscle is very important for especially all of our when functions. you don't have any to begin with. Right, when you're trying to maintain it, yeah, and it, it increases your metabolism. It does wonderful things for your body. Um, it makes you stronger. It makes you leaner, tighter. You know, everything is. is it makes your clothes fit better. Yeah, and like when you, <laughs> I mean, you do, it's true. And that's why I don't weigh myself. Like I already know when my clothes are not fitting so good that I got to scale back on the wine or the pasta or whatever it is. And the workouts you do too are very important. Sometimes the workouts you do can be actually derailing your fat loss. Um, research shows that anything longer than 30 minutes and you're stressing out your adrenals, you're stressing cortisol, is a, it's a hormone that increases you know, right. your, your ability to release fat. Yeah. And so what we do is we make sure our workouts are short and intense, no longer than 30 minutes, and that way our clients are able to mobilize body fat while maintaining this lean muscle. And with that system, you know, we can also guarantee results. We give their money back if they don't get results because we know if they do the nutrition, if they do the proper exercises and get good sleep, they yep. will get results. All right, if you want more information about Jody's program, head to our website. We put a link to hers on ours, cbs12.com. Jody, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having me.